know quite a few of you guys are waiting on this tutorial. I was hoping to make this really short, but I decided to break it down into different parts so that I won't confuse you guys. So for this week, we're just gonna learn how to make the face. I hope you guys will follow along in the next few weeks because if you try to make it all in one sitting, it gets very frustrating. So let's begin. First, we're gonna learn a little bit about the materials that we're gonna use. The main beads that I'm using is the 3mm bicone beads. Here is the amount of beads that you will need. If you missed that, don't worry, I will post it in the info box. The tiny bead is about 1mm. It doesn't exactly have to be that size, it just needs to be smaller than 3mm. The best beading wire to use is this fishing line. It's clear so it will not show up in the body of the sea lion. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm gonna use this metal wire so you can see the wire. Well, I basically loop the wire on my hand for 15 times because you want to have more material to work with than less. Now go ahead and grab one end of the wire. Your first bead is going to be black. Then you're going to add five more main color beads, which I choose to use blue color. Go ahead and pull the beads to the center of the wire. Grab the wire that's opposite from the black bead and then crisscross it through the black bead. Okay, now you just make your first loop. Remember this technique because we're essentially going to use the same thing over and over again. At this angle, grab your left wire and this is where you're going to add on the beads. You always want to add on the beads to the left wire and then crisscross it with the right wire. On the second loop, you're going to add five main color beads. Your second loop is basically the first loop of the second row. Now you're going to take the right wire and then crisscross it at the last bead. Once you crisscross the bead, your right wire became the left wire for the next loop. You see that bead right next to the last cross bead? Take your white wire and thread it through. Now you're ready to make the second loop on the second row. Take your left wire, add one black bead and two main color beads. Then crisscross it using the white wire. See how you have two loops on the second row? Now you're going to take the white wire and thread it through the next bead again. Take your left wire and add four main color beads. Crisscross the loop using the white wire. And this is the third loop on the second row. Yep, you're doing the same thing again. You're taking the right wire and thread it through the next bead. Now we're ready to make the fourth loop on the second row. Take your left wire again and add on three main color beads. You're essentially using the same technique over and over again, but you gotta make sure you use the right amount of bead in every loop. Once you crisscross the bead, you just make the fourth loop on the second row. Always remember to cross your white wire to the next center row bead. For the fifth loop, add four main color beads. Oops, it was getting pretty dark, so I gotta turn on the light. Well, we're down to the last loop. For the last loop, instead of going the right wire with one bead, you're gonna go through two. See where my finger is pointing at? That's where the wire is gonna go through. This is the last loop on the second row, so what you're doing right now is basically closing up the second row. 
once you thread the right wire through both the beads. Now you're ready to make the sixth and last loop for the second row. First, you're going to insert one main bead, then you're going to add on one black bead. Now you can crisscross the right wire through the black bead. Once you pull it tight, you should be able to see the nose and the eyes of the sea lion. You should see there's a center circle and then a six loop surrounding the center circle. If you see that, then you are finished for the first part. <laughs> so for next week, I'm going to show you guys how to make the flippers. It gets a little bit more complicated. I think it's a good idea to break it down into a few parts so that it's not overwhelming for you guys. I mean, after all, crafting is supposed to be relaxing, not frustrating. Am I right? I do hope you guys tune in next week. So until then, may you be happy. <laughs>